The murder of Patrick Finucane in his home in North Belfast on Sunday the 12th of February 1989 was an appalling crime. He was shot 14 times as he sat down for dinner with his wife and three children. His wife was injured and Pat Finucane died in front of his family. Sir Desmond's report has now given us, I believe, the fullest possible account of the murder of Patrick Finucane and the truth about state collusion. We should be in no doubt that this report makes extremely difficult reading. It sets out the extent of collusion in areas such as identifying, targeting and murdering Mr Finucane, supplying a weapon and facilitating its later disappearance, and deliberately obstructing subsequent investigations. Sir Desmond is satisfied that there was not, and I quote, an overarching state conspiracy to murder Patrick Finucane. But, Mr Speaker, while he rejects any state conspiracy, he does find, quite frankly, shocking levels of state collusion. Most importantly, Sir Desmond says he is, and I quote, left in significant doubt as to whether Patrick Finucane would have been murdered by the Ulster Defence Association in February 1989 had it not been for the different strands of involvement by elements of the state. He finds that a series of positive actions by employees of the state actively furthered and facilitated his murder. And he cites five specific areas of collusion. First, there were extensive leaks of security force information to the UDA and other loyalist paramil paramilitary groups. Second, there was a failure by the authorities to act on threat intelligence. Sir Desmond describes, and I quote, an extraordinary state of affairs in which both the Army and the RUC Special Branch had prior notice of a series of planned UDA assassinations, yet nothing was done by the RUC to seek to prevent those attacks. Third, he confirms that employees of the state and state agents played key roles in the murder. Fourth, there was a failure to investigate and arrest key members of the West, West Belfast UDA over a long period of time. Fifth, this was all part of what Sir Desmond calls a wider, relentless attempt to defeat the ends of justice after the murder had taken place. Mr Speaker, the collusion demonstrated beyond any doubt by Sir Desmond, which included the involvement of state agencies in murder, is totally unacceptable. We do not defend our security forces or the many who have served in them with great distinction by trying to claim otherwise. Collusion should never, ever happen. So on behalf of the government and the whole country, let me say again to the Finucane family, I am deeply sorry.